So Ben, what we see a lot of at Wellness FX is, and I'm sure you see a lot of in your practice, is athletes who they've made improvements but are having a tough time reaching the next level. They, right. they plateau. Right. What are some of the ways people can understand the causes of their plateaus to help surpass them? When, when you're looking at, at things that you can test to see how capable your body is of, of making it to the next level, uh, there, there are some variables that I highly recommend you look at. Um, the big one that's probably not going to surprise anyone is to see where your testosterone levels are at. I mean, for, for anybody, you should, you should be looking at being right around in the, in, the, uh, in the range of what would be normal for like a healthy young male. I mean, even if you're a, a master's athlete or somebody of that nature, um, you should try and get your testosterone levels up to the point where, where they're, they're, they're normal and, uh, or, or high normal. And a lot of folks walk around with, with low testosterone levels. So that's one biggie. Um, there are a lot of precursors for testosterone as well as things that are involved in enzymatic reactions that are responsible for producing energy. Some of the biggies are vitamin D. You're going to see vitamin D levels being low or average in a lot of people who want to take it to the next level. And they benefit from optimizing vitamin D levels. A simple blood test to get your, uh, your 25-hydroxy-D measured. Um, Another one that you want to look at is magnesium. Magnesium is another factor that's involved in over 300 different enzymatic reactions within your body, a bunch of those being things that you're going to use during performance. So magnesium is another super important thing to look at, another thing that's, that's pretty easy to stabilize if you find out that you're low. Um, so you've got testosterone, vitamin D, magnesium. Um, another really important factor would be to look at how capable you are of transporting and utilizing oxygen. So um, your vitamin B12 and your ferritin would also be important to look at um, folate to a certain extent as well. Those are some of the other things that you'd want to have your have your uh, have measured basically to find out how capable you are of bringing it to the next level. I mean, you optimize a lot of this stuff: D, magnesium, testosterone, some of the oxygen variables, and um, you're looking at equipping your body to take it to the next level. So those are some of the things I'd look at right off the bat in terms of making sure that you're prepared. Well, great. And what we also see a lot of is not just people trying to improve their athletic condition, but people just trying to maintain their condition they're in. They're feeling run down. And some people feel like maybe they're not exercising enough. Others worry that they're overtraining. How can we potentially identify some of the issues there? Yeah, some of the things that you can look at, um, inflammation is going to be a biggie. And when it comes to looking at markers of muscle damage, there's a variable called a, a C-reactive protein or HSCRP, which is very, very important. If you measure that and you're consistently high, unless you've just finished like a triathlon or a marathon or a, a multi-day, you know, hardcore workout, CrossFit competition, something of that nature, your HSCRP value should not be elevated. That's not something that you want to see chronically elevated. So that's one factor. Um, you may simply not be managing inflammation properly from either a rest and recovery standpoint or a dietary standpoint. Um, another thing that you're going to see in folks who, uh, who are, who are overtrained is they're usually hyper cortisolic, meaning that they've got really, really high cortisol levels. And if they've sustained that for too long a period of time, you tend to see the opposite. Um, what, what's called sometimes adrenal fatigue or very, very low cortisol levels. Um, because of, you, you do want a little bit of cortisol. It can drop too low, um, to the point where you, you don't have enough and that can affect your energy levels as well. So cortisol and HSCRP are two, two pretty important variables to look at. Um, you know, some, some of the things that I mentioned when I, I was talking about how to improve performance, you're also going to see low in someone who is, who is depleted or who has overtrained their body or who isn't getting enough nutrients on board. So you see the low testosterone, you see the low B12, um, you see the low magnesium, low vitamin D, a lot, of those, a lot of those other things that should be optimized for high performance are also low when you're overtrained. So as far as looking at, at, at qualitative blood markers, those are some of the things that, that you can pay attention to. Well, that's great. So it's clear that if you're just feeling run down and trying to maintain your current level of conditioning, or you're trying to reach that next level by understanding your markers and optimizing them, you can potentially reach the level you want in your athletic and fitness goals. Thanks so much, Ben. No problem.